So SolidWorks has always been about design optimization. So in 2018, they brought in a brand new design optimization tool inside SolidWorks simulation called Topology Study. Now topology optimization relies on a complex set of bone growth algorithms in order to come up with an optimum shape for your designs to perform the function that it was intended to. The benefit of this uh, topology optimization is that it actually gives you shapes that you're able to generate with both traditional manufacturing methods and also additive manufacturing methods. Now let's take a look at what this topology study looks like and you know how we can kind of set, what, what are the nuances of setting up a topology study. Now, with, in 2018, the simulation portfolio has been uh, slightly modified and some of the uh, icons have been rearranged uh, into separate groups and the topology study belongs to a design inside group. All right, so setting up a topology study is really straightforward. It's much like setting up any static structural analysis. You need to specify what the component is made of, what the constraints are, what kind of uh, loading conditions it's experiencing. The only two new features that you need to add are what is your optimization goal and what kind of manufacturing constraints would you like to impose on your component. Now let's take a look at what these look, look like. Now as far as your optimization goal goes, you're trying to always save mass. So you're actually able to set what the final mass of the object is or rather how much mass you'd like to remove from the component in order to come up with the optimized shape. Now besides that, you can also set displacement constraints to improve the stiffness of the object. So you have a whole host of goals to pick from, but the mass goal tends to be the most popular. Besides this, of course you need to impose manufacturing constraints or it's going to start removing, the software is going to start removing material from areas that is, well, not manufacturable. So in this case, if the component is a casted part, you're, you're essentially picking the demold direction. So you pick the parting line and hence the software will start removing material that facilitates you know, one parting line. Now once the component is optimized, this is what it looks like. It, it leaves material only in the areas that, uh, that really you know, resist the loading conditions. And you're actually able to use a slider in order to pick how much material you want to leave in the component and how much material you'd like to remove from the component. Now, in 2017, there was a cool new feature that was added that lets you actually superimpose your simulation results onto your assemblies. Now, in order to you know, present this to your market, uh, marketing team, now we can use this feature in order to superimpose the topologically optimized design onto the final assembly. As I mentioned, SolidWorks has always been about optimizing your products, and 2018 brings some really cool, uh, cool new uh, you know, structural analysis optimization features that let you pick just the right shape for just the right function for your designs.